So artificial intelligence and machine learning is a, a newer field um, where basically uh, in, before you used to have to program things yourself. But with AI uh, and machine learning, you're actually teaching the program and the algorithms to learn on its own. So that's really what the difference between um, what AI is and machine learning versus how we used to do things in the past is that AI and machine learning is once you've taught the machine how to learn, it learns on its own and you don't have to really teach it anymore. Okay, great. So uh, that's a really great question. Um, so AI, the, the beauty about AI is that while yes, it's beneficial to have a coding background, um, most of what we do in AI machine learning uh, is we focus on Python um, and R language. And Python's a fairly easy language to learn, um, but they're also, if you're not on the super technical side, there are also platforms like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, uh, Microsoft, where you don't technically have to know the coding aspect of it to be able to leverage AI and machine learning. But I would say the first thing you wanna do is get a general understanding of what is AI machine learning what programs people are using, like Python and R, um, TensorFlow, uh, and then start kind of delving into some of that information, which you can find free tutorials online. Okay. Like, yeah. So, yeah, so AI machine learning has so many different uh, areas, and basically what you're gonna see is AI machine learning basically spread into every single industry that we currently have. Uh, some of the really cool industries right now is you see self-driving cars. Um, you see it in a lot of apps now, um, like, uh, like Uber uses, self, uh, uses machine learning. Um, Twitter uses machine learning, like natural language processing. That's a type of AI machine learning. Um, you see it with facial recognition technology. You see it in healthcare. You see basically, Every single industry that you can think of, you're going to see an application of artificial intelligence in machine learning um, because the applications are vast. Okay, so the, the best thing to do when you're seeing how you can uh, incorporate AI or machine learning into your startup is to first, you need an understanding of what AI and machine learning is. Get an understanding of the basics, the concepts, um, and then see the different areas that AI machine learning is being applied. So you wanna figure out what areas uh, or industries are being applied to and figure out which part of AI uh, is relevant to your startup, right? Because AI is such a big field that you're not gonna use every single type of uh, AI machine learning out there. They're very specific types that work for specific industries. So figure out which machine learning or AI uh, concept or uh, idea kind of works for your industry, and then you can kind of dig into it and see how you can incorporate it into your startup. Um, so the challenges that I see is, um, actually I think Jakarta in Indonesia is actually prime for AI machine learning startups because you actually have a pretty mature uh, startup culture here um, and your apps are and startups here you see um, uh, are pretty well designed uh, you have lots of users who use the apps and start and you know the different startups here um, and so because of that uh, you have a really great opportunity to see how you can incorporate AI uh, in the startups here in Jakarta the one issue that we see missing in Jakarta and Indonesia as a whole is that there's not really a community of AI and machine learning kind of engineers and people who are interested in it. And that's one of the things that we're actually trying to do uh, with Evolve Machine Learners is let's create a community, let's get people in, let's get them talking, let's get them learning about the different aspects of AI and machine learning, and then you can figure out how you want to incorporate that into your Yeah, so um, the AI machine learning uh, 
community right now and startups here, uh, it's still very young. Uh, you don't see a lot of companies using uh, like AI and machine learning. One of the big ones uh, that I know of is Kata.ai. Um, it's a local startup in, in Jakarta. And there's a few other startups that are now using it in Southeast Asia. So it's still very young in terms of adoption uh, of AI in Jakarta. But outside of Jakarta, if you go to like Silicon Valley or in the West, you see AI machine learning basically taking over startups. Uh, every startup and, uh, and company and app is looking at ways that they can incorporate AI and machine learning uh, because it makes your apps smarter. Uh, so that would be the comparison is still very young in Jakarta, but slowly it's getting there.